Hey guys, welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel in case you're new here. Hi, my name is Obasha and welcome to the Slay Squad. So I am using a new mic and I'm not really sure how well it's picking up with the audio or if it's picking up too much ambient noise. So I am hoping, I am praying that it is okay. And for today's video, I will be recreating a makeup look that I had in a previous video, the Caroline and uh, Pauline Cosmetics uh, lipstick review bunch of you guys asked me to do a tutorial for the looks that is what we're going to be recreating today so let's get on straight to the video my eyebrows actually got fixed and it's making my work so much easier when it comes to filling them in but they're still swollen i don't know if i'm the only one whose like skin gets a bit swollen after they're threaded not sure. It's making filling in eyebrows a lot more easier. I can even do it and not have to do the whole concealer thing if that's not the look I'm going for. This is how my eyebrows always start out looking when I do them in like a mud rush and the problem is I feel like some people leave their eyebrows like this you see in that very weird like box situation at the front and to fix it is like really simple just take your spoolie and brush out the front see like how much better this eyebrow looks than this one I mean it's literally that simple so I just brush out the tips upwards and then I do the rest of the eyebrow. It just helps with um, blending everything in. And then today I definitely have to go in with concealer because <laughs> I filled them in in such a rush. And I also don't use um, concealer. I just use my foundation shades. I'm using like my Maybelline foundation because this one also doesn't have too much coverage because I don't want that halo look around my eyebrows. So I just use the same shade uh that i use on my face and it works out perfectly you don't have any like over light areas around your eyebrows it just looks really really natural You literally cannot compare what I have now <laughs> versus what we started with. So yeah, just blending in with a brush plus going in to clean up a few spots really, really helps. And also I found out that sometimes the Davis pencil, this is what I was using, Davis number three, um, it gets a bit oily, like generally all Davis pencils. So if you find your... Um, eyebrow pencil is just a bit too slippery just set your eyebrows with powder so sometimes i just use the powder on my eyebrows kidogo then go in to fill in because sometimes especially after i've just moisturized it gets a bit too slippery so going in to my eyelids i'm going to start by applying concealer just that i can have a clean base to start with i'm going to mix two of them because my uh, illegal is all the way downstairs and I'm not going all the way <laughs> after your concealer you either have two options you can go in with a powder to set it or you can just go straight into your eyeshadow if you go straight into your eyeshadow then the colors will just be a bit brighter they'll pop a lot more but then for me personally I find it easier to blend my eyeshadow if i go in with a powder so that's just going in with my maybelline fit me and setting that concealer and the eye look you guys is so simple <laughs> which is actually a plus for me because i'm running a bit late i'm going for what comes after a baby shower you know after the baby is born and then you guys go hold the baby so that's what i'm going for and this is a bit too extra for that but it's okay because i'm not washing it off after so the only palette that i use for this is the joanna k cosmetics palette and i use one two three four i use four shades in here so first i'm going to start out with um bold 
this orange shade right here and I don't put too much of it I just use it as like my first transition shade and sometimes it even gets lost in the final look Then once that is blended in, I go in with a spire and I literally just dab the brush in once. This palette is like really, really pigmented and I don't want it to turn into like a whole pink makeup look. So just a bit and I'm using the same brush and I'm trying to apply it a bit lower but eventually everything just mixes up. remember as you're doing this you need like a cleaner brush mine has some powder on it rather it's stained by some powder and you just go around to diffuse the color and it just helps it look a bit more blended then we're just going to um, clean up the lid a bit to prep for the glitter shade and for this I'm using a flat concealer brush and the um, Maybelline concealer on the back of my hand. So I've learned that with this you don't use too much product and just go in with Kidogo product at a time. Then Kitambo I used to um, sort of cut my lid right here you see where because I have hooded lids so I used to cut it like right at the hood then I didn't have enough like space to work with when it comes to color so what I started doing is I have a mirror here here's my mirror sorry for blinding you with the lights but then now what I do after is I look down and then you see this okay, let me show you. you see this line that is formed right there that's where I apply the concealer and then I look up so where it touches I'm going to clean up that entire space and I think it's better if I just show you than explaining what I'm doing and then I look up and then you can see it's gone like way further up than that line so then I'll just have a bit more space to work with and then now my uh, shadow also won't be transferred like all the way up there when I open my eyes. The shade we're working with is Girl Boss right there. And I'm going to apply this basically everywhere where we have the concealer. And what I did that day, if I remember correctly, I went in to Dancing Queen, which is sort of a gold shade just on the other side of my brush. And I applied it, um, sorry, like everything is falling everywhere. I applied it on the front part of my eyelid. So I always um, line the top part of my lashes when I'm going to put on falsies. And I just think it helps um, hide the lash band a bit more. But since I don't want this look to have like crazy crazy out there liner what I'm going to do is go in with a brown gel pencil this one is by Maybelline this is the brown one yeah so it's just like a really dark brown and I'm going to go at the bottom so the lashes that I'm using are literally like very very cheap lashes this is how they look like excuse the makeup on my nails i got them inside a wig that i had bought this is the foundation that i'm going in with i think you've seen me use it so many times it's the fit me in the shade 356 
I almost forgot I got this new peach corrector and I'm happy I don't apply foundation directly under my eyelids so I can use it now it's by Maybelline it's the master camo color correcting pen and it does this thing where you have to squeeze it for the product to come out and it just it makes me really excited I'm just going to go in color correct and I like that it's a peach corrector and not really orange because sometimes I have difficulty blending in if I use the orange corrector because my dark circles aren't really that bad. I honestly love how the face just slowly but surely starts coming together. I don't feel like I need concealer really but I want that kidogo brightness so I'll just use a bit. Ooh, I can't see. <laughs> we'll just use kidogo. It just looks like a lot but it's because well the brush is spreading it out everywhere. And then I'm going to use a bit more of the lighter shade just on the inner part of the eye so that I can brighten that area a bit because I wouldn't be like uh, using the yellow Sasha powder. Then I'm just going to set everything in place with my Maybelline powder. So today I don't think I'm going to go in with blush, so instead I'm going to bronze and I'm using my sleek powder in the shade Wood Smoke. And then for my bottom mascara I'm going to go in with this one. Um, it's not really black, it's still the same type of snapscara, but the color is cherry, black cherry. I'm going to use this on my bottom lashes. This is the first time I'm actually using this one. Then before we finish up with the lips, I'm using um, the Demi Gold palette. It's called the Glow Power. This is how it looks like. And I'm going to go in with this pinkish highlight. I like it because it's, it's not that screaming. I don't like to look overpowerly, ringly, you know, shiny on the side of my face. I just like a subtle glow. Then for my lips, I think I'm just going to keep the whole pinkish girly vibe I have going on today. And I'm going to use uh, my Revlon lipstick in the shade Seductive Sienna. I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like my lighting today is a bit off. But yeah, here's the lipstick. My lighting is definitely off. Yeah, that's definitely way better. It looks a bit bright. I don't know why my camera sort of switches um, lighting settings in the middle. But then I'm just going to top this off uh, with some gloss. So this is our final look. And if anyone has wondered how I was able to put on my black shirt without ruining it, quick trick. This cups right here. These are the ones that you get when you use safe Boda. So I just literally put it on my face like this. And then <laughs> I put on my shirt. I use it, I use this trick a lot, especially for like photo shoots. And if you don't have this, you can just use like a kawaii shower cup. But these ones are like way, way better because you can breathe through them. Sometimes the shower cup, eh, hey, you feel as if you're getting suffocated. But yeah, that's it for today's video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and if you're new to this channel, please subscribe down below for new videos every Mondays and Thursdays. Always remember to work hard and have good intentions. Until next time, bye guys.